Hi, and welcome back to another little snippet where we've got one of the special guests at the Living Well Expo, George. Hello, how are you, George? I'm good, Michael. George, when we first met, I said, what's the name of your business? You went MP7, and I thought you were going to sell me vitamins, tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, EP7. EP7. Well, that, there you go. Sounded like vitamins. It did. Uh, <laughs> but George, you do help people, but in a very clever way. Can you tell us a little bit about your business? We have a process, and the process actually emulates nature. It allows you to restore your adaptive way of being, which unfortunately we lose in the way we're raised and in the culture that doesn't understand the power of being adaptive in any situation so that you can always be resilient and you can always be a good creative problem solver and achieve what you want. Is this why we go through life and sometimes we just get in those places where we just constantly feel tired, run down, not quite motivated, losing the passion? Yeah, totally, because it, it's hard going, mm. not getting timely solutions. Right. It's not natural. We're meant to... Um, hit a roadblock and then follow a process to understand why and then be different and have a breakthrough. Unfortunately, and it can get depressing when everything you're trying is not working because you're not tuning into the problem enough and you're not expanding and connecting to enough ideas to guide mm. you how to be different. Now, a lot of people, and I'm sure watching, and myself included, we've come to those areas, we've felt like we've hit a block and we're not quite sure how to break through them. But what's been your journey? How did you discover how to like, take those blocks away, make them dissolve almost so people can actually carry on their path? How did you come about this? Well, I thought that my limitations, my struggles were normal. I thought it was just me. Mm. And then when I had uh, mentors early on in life, and then I started to read self-help books and go to courses, I was shocked at how much my paradigm was forcing me to see a reality that was so subjective it wasn't funny. And so it made me never to fall for that ever again and always be curious as to what is it about the way I'm seeing things that is limiting to be free of that. And then I ended up becoming very addicted to personal development <laughs> for the results that it gave me. Yes. And then after a long time, I saw what was great about the industry, what wasn't, and I wanted to develop something that would be um, of great value. You mentioned in there that you became curious. And one thing that I know a lot of viewers and a lot of people coming to the Living Well Expo are going to be curious about, and that is your reinvention workshops. Could you oh, describe yeah. what they actually, what you actually mean and unpack that for us? Yeah. Well, one of the most fascinating things about our struggle is that we don't know that the brain's trying to help us and protect us. So what happens is that it ends up overprotecting us, especially through trauma, you know, like it doesn't want you to be traumatized again. But the overprotection ends up self harming. And so, with the Reinvent Your Workshop, there's a lot of things we do and we think we have to do that when you go through a process of deconstructing all the details around why you're doing what you're doing, uh, the self harm becomes ev evident and you shock at the situation that you're actually hurting yourself and the brain will never want to hurt you. You just need to give it enough um, uh, exposure of what yep. it's doing for it to stop. Then the next part of the reinvention is falling in love with a better way of being that comes from your heart and aligns with your own wisdom. You know? Wow. So if you are stuck, you know you can be better, you know you want things that are better, make sure you come to the Living Well Expo and go to the Reinvention Workshop with George. George, it's been an absolute pleasure. I know you're very busy, but thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much, Michael.